guys welcome back to another m creator tutorial what, what today we're going to be doing is covering the um stair blocks the custom stairs that i basically showed how to make now as you can see the hip boxes are still as the stairs i talked to clemen and he says it's not currently possible to change that but um they still act like regular stairs regardless so uh, you can still go up and down them. They might be a little bit off when you're looking at the position if you're making them custom and stuff like that. But um, you still get to use like the custom shapes and stuff like that. So as you can see, there there's a whole bunch of different models and stuff that I've uh, integrated. Uh, we'll take a look at the vanilla models in today's tutorial as well as how the... Um, how the custom models that are basically modeled in here. So... Basically, uh, as you can see, I basically in the tutorial, I made it so I could do this and it kind of makes it a little bit layered and stuff like that. So yeah, it's um, pretty good and it works for alternate rotations as well. So if we wanted to place it upside down, we could do that as well. So we can do that and um, all the basic stuff that you would have with regular stairs. So. Yeah, um, let's get into the actual modeling part. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we have to cover in Blockbench <laughs> because um, vanilla models are a little bit different to work with. And then I'll show you the process of actually getting your stuff all set up in M Creator, And then we'll uh, show you how to get the models imported properly. All right, so the first thing that we actually have here is the in, in the custom files um, folder where I have some uh, models and stuff. There's the custom ones. These are the ones that are basically created and the example ones generated and then blocks. These are the vanilla ones that uh, basically are in the game that um, Minecraft uses for the default stair style. So we're actually going to look at these first. Uh, there are three of them and uh, it depends on what rotation that or basically what model it's connected to the rotation is all done on the block state side so um, we don't need to really worry about the block state we just need to worry about the models for that um, yeah so we have the stairs this is basically the default stairs uh, rotation the inner one is uh, for the inner connection and then the outer one is for the outer connection so uh, the, these two are the corner pieces that when stairs connect, it will kind of manipulate it in a way where it will connect differently um, for basically corner pieces. This is just the regular one though. So let's open this up with, um, let's see if I can find it. It's probably not in here. So we will go ahead. I think we can just drag it over into block bench, honestly. And then what we can do is we can bring the model over into block bench and then we can kind of see how the rotation and stuff is set up. So as you can see, there's uh, these uh, textures here. Now we're going to basically customize those so we can use our own. Um, the side basically indicates the side of the textures. So these parts here, the faces on the side, uh, the top is the top texture. So these two. And the bottom is obviously the bottom. Now there's, uh, it's set up that way because um, of sandstone support and other things like that. Uh, sandstone uses the side textures, the top and bottom, where most other ones just use one single one. They basically set all the textures of the same thing. So that's basically what this looks like. As you can notice, the it's not facing directly north. It's actually facing west. So it's facing that way. And uh, that's important when you're actually creating your models because if it doesn't face west, it's going to not align properly when you basically set up the uh, connections and stuff like that. So make sure that this regular stair one, um, the one that's called just stairs, is facing west when you're actually modeling it. And you can basically change the cubes, add new cubes, whatever you want to this basically file. Um, some other things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, we'll just open up the custom one now. So we'll open up the uh, rounded stairs too. And you'll notice that I have these uh, differently named. Now, basically what I've done is I've just added the textures. Now I don't have the textures imported right now, but 
uh, you want to make sure that, that it's textured so you can basically see what it looks like before you export it. And uh, the, if you go to properties, there's a few things that you want to set up here. So uh, the variable basically allows you to target it in the document for the JSON file that will be important later on. Uh, the folder type you want to set to blocks and then you want to set your namespace to your custom mod namespace. This is also important and you want to do that for each texture. So make sure that all of them are set up like that. Uh, the variable should can pretty much be uh, anything that you want, but I suggest keeping it really easy to reference to. Like for this is the bottom texture, so I've just given it the bottom name. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is basically the direction that it's facing. It's still facing west, and that's all that we need to do. Uh, the other one, uh, if we go back to examples, uh, the inner one. This is the inner uh, rotation one. As it, as you can see, it's kind of facing north, northwest. So your corners and stuff will want to be facing northwest generally on the rotation that it's facing. So it's not fully facing north, but it's not facing fully west either. It's still kind of west, but uh, it's also facing north. So the corner part uh, where it's going to be the lowest is on the northwest corner. And again, I've um, basically modeled it for the other one. So this is the inner one, and that's basically my version of it. it has a couple different cubes and stuff like that. So again, following the same rotation as the vanilla rotation. And the last one that I have is the um, outer one. This is the one that I modeled, and this is basically the vanilla outer one. Same rotation as the inner. It's facing the northwest corner of the um, thing. So if you're facing north, like the arrow is, west is over here, north, east. So it's facing northwest right over that side. So that's basically that. Uh, again, I've basically kept all the um, things the same. Now, you don't necessarily need to add the namespace and stuff like that, but do target the blocks folder. That's going to be really important when you actually do that. So when you import your, or you want to import your models uh, first, you want to select your textures, import those first, and then you want to import your models. Now, as you can see, I've basically imported all of them like this. So this is basically how it's set up. Uh, the side texture should actually be the side here. And um, yeah, so that's all the textures. As you can see, those are the variables that we've set, the models and stuff like that. So they're all imported like that. And then what we've done is we've also imported our textures. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to basically create a regular block, so just a regular one. Um, I have locked that one, so we're going to create a new one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to call it um, round, or uh, we'll just call it stairs uh, test. And then we'll create a new block, and then we're going to use the block base, and we're going to select stairs. We're just going to basically go ahead and um, set our bottom texture. So we want this one and then we want the side te or front texture. I think this is the side and then we want the top one as well. And uh, for cutout, uh, you can basically select it however you want. I don't think there's a really condition. Uh, you might want to also enable the um, transparency parts and the um, high fluid when texture is submerged. So this basically allows uh, water logging to look a little bit better. Um, as far as the texture, item texture and stuff like that, you don't need to worry about the rest of it really. Uh, bounding box, can't really control this right now, like I said. And um, just to make it a little easier, we'll put it under the transportation tab so we can kind of figure out where it is. And all these other settings, you can basically change how you want. Uh, you don't need to worry about this stuff. Uh, you can change it if you want to. Don't need to worry about the MBT and triggers. All this stuff is basically fine. So you can just save it. And now what you want to do is you want to go to that and you want to lock the actual stairs. 
just give uh, amp creator a second to basically generate the code. And then what you want to do is you want to right click on it and then you want to go lock this mod element. So um, once it's locked, you can basically do change the models and stuff like that. So where are the models located? <laughs> That's a good question. So let's go into our workspace tab and then we'll, we're going to go and select open workspace folder. And then if we go to source, main, uh, resources, assets, custom stairs, and then we're going to go to models. And then there are three folders here. Uh, your items will be under this one. Your custom, which are basically going to be ignored by what we're going to be importing. And then we have our blocks. Now this is where most of the actual stuff is set up. So we have um, the test ones, so stairs test. These are all the ones that are generated. Uh, the ones that I've basically added are the stairs two, or the round stairs two. So we're basically gonna use the same model as those. Um, I have provided the model and they're right from block bench. So you can basically import it like it is and it will work just fine. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual thing that I've, uh, the, the, the generated one from the new one. And as you can see, it's basically set up like this. Now the parent basically means that it's going to be pointing towards another file for basically getting the settings from. Uh, this is going to basically mean that it's targeting the vanilla stairs um, in the blocks folder. Uh, we don't want that at all. Actually, we really don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I've changed in the, the rounded one. I've basically used the namespace for the mod, and then I've used a colon, and then I've targeted the blocks folder, which is the one that we're currently in, and then I've basically said, okay, use the round stairs to model. So this is basically the JSON file that we're targeting. This is the folder that we're basically looking in. And this is just a tell it that we need to find the file itself. So the textures, uh, we also want to set our textures here. So if you have any particle textures or your variable names, now your variable names need to be the same as the one that you set in your block bench model. So again, I've set the bottom, top and side for the variable names. Um, it'll make sense in just a couple of moments what that means. But uh, again, we're targeting the namespace of the mod. And now this blocks is basically the textures folder. So if we go back to our um, assets folder and we want to go into custom stairs or namespace textures, there's the blocks folder and then these are our textures here. So we wanna target those for basically getting the, uh, the textures for the model. So again, it's targeting the blocks folder for the textures, and then we're basically setting the texture name. So those are the texture names that we're basically using. All right, so that's the basic setup. Again, as a reference, this is what it would look like when it's generated. And this is basically what it looks like when it's customized. All right, so the only difference is we're targeting our own namespace and uh, we've added the particle line right up here. Again, particles just control the particles when it's being broken. And I've just set that to this uh, sandstone. All right, so the actual model files, if we go back to assets and then we want to go to models and then we'll go to block and then we'll open up the stairs one as well. So these texture files here are overwritten by the file that we were basically just covered. So this one here. And um, because this is basically saying get these files and then we're going to be setting the textures here. Uh, it's going to ignore the textures um, category for the uh, model that we're basically calling in. So basically this isn't really necessary technically, but I left it in here just to kind of show you the, what's going on. And then you will have a section down here where it says elements. These are basically where your cubes are going. It has all the 
block rotations and stuff like that, the dimensions for the blocks. And as you can see, these are our um, variable names being used in those particular models. So bottom is here, uh, top, and then our sides as well. Those correlate to the names on these parts right here. So make sure that these and the ones that you've assigned your meshes are the exact same or you're going to get uh, problems with the thing. Uh, down below, what you can see is your d display settings. Now, if you haven't set your display settings in Blockbench, then this won't show up. Um, I don't think it will be naturally generated. So um, you'll run into some issues if it, you don't set the display settings. Now, the easiest way to do that for blocks is just open up the um, thing again. We'll just go with the custom one. Uh, if you go to the display settings right on at the top left corner here, uh, you can go and you can apply preset and then default block. And then you can uh, apply that to all blocks. So basically that will allow you to get it to the side. All these different settings here will be all configured to regular blocks. So there might not always be perfect. Like obviously the rotation for this could be adjusted a little bit, like to make it a little bit more where it's facing the proper direction and stuff like that. But um, basically that's uh, what you do is you just set the display settings and it will come up in the section down here. So all this will be configured. All right, so that's basically what these files look like. So these are mostly generated from Blockbench and I don't think I've changed anything in here that should really be under any concern. So all the textures are again through the generated file and we're pointing at the custom stairs. So that's all there is really to it. You're just basically adding another file, make sure it's not the same name. And you want to basically um, do all three of them. Outside of that, uh, hopefully that made sense uh, again uh, if you want to basically download the files and stuff, I'll make sure to add the files, uh, not the textures, can't do the textures, but I can do the models and the um, custom models that are basically added into a, uh, upload it to GitHub so you guys can download that. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.